we are on track and on schedule with where we've been intending to being this whole time. We've made a promise. We made a promise to repeal and replace Obamacare. We're going to keep our promise to the people that elected us. Speaker Ryan saying that Obamacare replacement bill is on schedule right now, but there's still some resistance, in fact, a fair amount from Republicans. Dr. Janet Neshwat knows that plan very well. Doctor, you've met with lawmakers on the Hill to discuss the bill, so why do you think it's getting so much pushback? You know, hey, Charles, good to be here. Thanks for having me. Listen, there is no plan that is perfect. Every plan has problems, has issues. But you know what? We work through them, and we have to do it for the benefit of the American people. And we've got to look at the problem. The current problem is just horrendous. And the initial problem is because of the initial architect of the ACA. It was built on a faulty foundation with no recourse and no regard for the financial burden and impact that would have on American people and my patients. And to me, that's fundamentally wrong at its Court, but you know what? I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful because we have a new HHS secretary, Tom Price, and you know what? He's a doctor, so he knows and he understands the importance of cultivating and devising a health care system for all Americans that's going to allow for better access, high quality care that's affordable and meaningful. You can't just have any health care uh, plan. That, doesn't, that may not mean anything because you might have a huge deductible. Sure. Patients can't afford that. Sure. Sure. So, I mean, you know, on paper you have a plan, but you can't afford to use it. Doctor, you, you talked about some of your patients. Can, give, give us an example of, of how uh, the Obamacare was detrimental to them. You know, just last week, it's it so heart-wrenching and heartbreaking. I had a patient came in, a diabetic patient. Um, he was sick. He was feverish, weak, vomiting, dizzy. I said, John, when did you last check your blood, your, uh, blood sugar? A few days ago, a few weeks ago, he hadn't checked it in a few months. And the reason is he couldn't afford the glucose strips for his machine. He couldn't afford his medication. He couldn't afford it because he hadn't met his high deductible. It was like three or $4,000 um, just to, you know, uh, just to pick up some life-saving medications. So instead of paying $150 for his medicines that his insurance wouldn't cover because of his high deductible, he ended up in the ICU on an insulin drip. And that's just heartbreaking to me, you know, and something that right. we've, got to, we've got to change. We've got to, you know, make a difference because it, lives, lives are at stake here. Uh, now, there's the two, two groups of uh, dissent so far, right? You've got Republicans who are uh, conservatives who are concerned about certain aspects of this. Uh, that make it seem like Obamacare like, but then you also have Democrats who are saying uh, you know, that, that the poor are going to be disproportionately hurt by this and, and others. What do you say to them? Uh, because we know that Obamacare in of itself is part and parcel of a major effort to re sort of redistribution, if you will. How, so what's the answer for people who are afraid that now poor people will have less coverage? You know, that's not true, and it's natural and it's normal to be scared, to be fearful of changes ahead of us. Anyone who's on Medicaid or has health insurance now, they're not going to lose it. There's just going to be changes. They're either going to retain what they have or what they have is going to be reformed. They're not going to lose their, their health care. Paul Ryan has said it. Dr. Price has said it. You know, they're not going to pull the rug from underneath you. The goal and the mission, our President Donald Trump said from day one, he was very transparent in his mission, his, his goal was to protect the American people, not just by rebuilding the military, but repealing and reforming met the Obamacare. Um, and that is to allow everyone to have affordable, accessible, high quality health care. So no one is going to lose their health care. It's a matter of retaining it or making changes to what they currently have. And we have to do that. We have to make changes. Otherwise, our country is going to go bankrupt because we're putting all of our dollars into the health care system. And we need to be doing it in a more wise fashion. All right. Doctor, thank you very much. We really appreciate you coming on. It's my pleasure.